Hello guys, what's up? Whispering Wind here, back again with another statue review. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of my premium format statue that I have in my collection. This is done by Satio Collectibles and I purchased this 7 or 8 years ago at one of my local comic shop in New York City called Newton Comics. Um, it's not a new statue guys, um, it's, well, it's been around for 8 years I believe and it's a really cool one that's why I bought it and um, I haven't displayed this piece because I still have no room for this and other statue that I have so um, I'm going to review it and open the uh, box uh, to look at the statue once again all right folks here it is Cobra Commander premium format statue done by Sideshow Collectibles like I said it before it's a one fourth scale piece done by them and this piece measured about 20 inches high from the bottom of the base to the top of his head or the helmet that he's wearing it had 9 inches wide from the left to the right of the base and it had 8 inches deep from the front to the rear side of the base and as you can see here um, I really love the pose uh, I believe it really represents the character of Cobra Commander here Sideshow did an amazing job and did choose an awesome pose on this place um, as you can see uh, his holding his staff, the golden staff with the cobra uh, crafted here and I want you to see something here that I really like I, I believe, I, I mean the concept on this statue is really good um, he's holding his staff in his right hand while his left hand is hidden behind his back and holding a pistol or a gun or something like that uh, well as you know he's a he's the Cobra commander <laughs> uh, and he's sneaky <laughs> um, all right um, I'm gonna talk about the mixed media that comes with it yes the statue um, um, it's not fully sculpted as you can see uh, it comes with mixed media um, the boots here uh, were sculpted as well the um, uh, gloves as well the helmet but the um, uniform or the suits that he's wearing he uh, here um, they they tailored it and the tailoring was freaking awesome I love it I don't see any weakness on it as you can see here wow it's really smooth and clean and the tailoring on the you know the sewing on this part and wow every, every part that has a uh, sewing on it it's incredible really really nice job they did on this piece as you can see wow I don't see you know any issue or flow or something like that it's really really cool as you know um, this piece comes with the clock or cape but I don't want to show you that um, now I'm gonna show you, show you that later because when I when I'm gonna when I put that you're gonna you're not gonna see all the detail of the tailoring or the mixed media that comes with it as you can see here wow it's amazing and when I put the clock uh, on top of his shoulder, you won't, you wouldn't be able to see this. You know the cool concept of uh, his left hidden behind his back, holding a pistol. Really cool. And look at this. Uh, what you call it? Sword or blade or knife or whatever you want to call it. It's really cool concept. And it comes with this chain. It's um, there. It's not sculpted. It's real metal chain really cool cool really really cool guys and the belt here mixed media well it's pleather so it's a uh, fake leather 
and this yeah, this is plastic and I don't know what this is this is this is plastic as well um, wow really cool guys uh, I don't believe it <laughs> yeah, for nowadays statue even this piece was you know released or created eight years ago it's still an amazing piece in my opinion oh yeah I'm gonna talk about the helmet um, as you can see here um, he's wearing the helmet and the mask that's covering that um, his face um, it comes with this uh, metal um, scalp here and they painted in chrome really cool uh, because when you see the um, uh, box that I showed you earlier um, actually Sasio didn't want us to have it uh, or they gonna they're not gonna release it as um, uh, chrome metal plate here um, they painted in silver in the prototype but um, since um, I believe many collectors uh, saw it that they wanted to uh, have this piece uh, or the helmet painted in chrome and Sideshow did it for us and as you can see here really really awesome I really like it I believe chrome paint on the mask or part of the helmet here that covering his face um, it's really really good um, okay um, that's the tailoring and the helmet um, I don't have any complaint about the boots the glove that he's wearing I'm gonna show you a closer Close up look later, guys, uh, just like usual, so you can see what I'm talking about and a closer look on the base because the base is really cool. It's, um, I think, the logo of uh, Cobra. Um, so I'm gonna show you that later. And once again, the tailoring it's almost perfect, probably, it's perfect. I don't see any flaw or weakness here, guys. Oh, yeah, um, it also comes with the um, um, exchangeable um, right hand. As you can see, he is holding his golden staff and it comes also with this hand. What do you think guys? It's better with the sword or with the staff? I think both look good. Um, I prefer the staff though. <laughs> um, because um, of the color probably. Um, it has a um, golden um, color painted there. Um, but yeah really cool it's still really cool in my opinion as you can see here okay now I'm gonna show you uh, the statue with the uh, cape on hold on all right folks this is the cloak or the cape um, I have shown you before in the styrofoam it comes in red and black black on the outside and the inner side is red and it has this um, really cool Cobra logos on the cap, two of them, and underneath them, um, there are two magnets, so I can, you know, put them together like this. Uh, now I'm gonna put this on. Wow, it's really cool with the cape on. Um, it doesn't have a wire on the edges here. But overall, you know, it's a really, really amazing piece in my opinion, especially for nowadays. It's still, you know, amazing. There you go. What do you think? It's really cool. Okay, guys, that's my review on this um, Cobra Commander Prima Fama statue. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna give you a closer look on this piece um, because I I promised you that. Okay, this is the base, guys. As you can see, it comes in red and black color painted there. As you can see, the base had this uh, Cobra Commando. I'm sorry, Cobra logo as the base. Really cool, guys. And this is the boots can see wow it's really shiny once again they are sculpted yes. well, and you can see the wrinkle here it's like leather but 
they're not leather um, they're sculpted and this is the blade with the chain and you can see the tailoring in close-up look here wow and this is the helmet painted in chrome Alright folks, that's my review on this Cobra Commander Premium Format statue done by Statue Collectibles. I believe this is an amazing piece still. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down this video. I'm gonna answer it ASAP. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it and subscribe my channel if you haven't. And alright. Thank you for watching once again, you have a good one and take care, bye bye.